questions on the recordings that I'm uploading, and all those will be on YouTube if you want to re-listen to a little section. All I do with YouTube, I don't expect you to listen to the 45-minute lecture that I just did, and I'm sorry that I'm doing 45-minute lectures and aren't doing hands-on stuff in the middle, but I only have today and tomorrow to get you ready for the PowerPoint, so I don't have a choice. So, oh well. Okay, so the chipset, what it does, it controls all the information that goes around the motherboard. Okay, it controls the flow of information. All the information that goes around the motherboard is controlled by the chipset. And we've got a north chipset or a north bridge, and we've got a south chipset or a south bridge. And I've got a little graphic that I use to help you understand or remember the north bridge. Okay, everybody rides a bus to school. Hypothetically, nobody gets to drive a car. We've canceled that. Okay, so everybody rides a bus to school, and we have two routes to school. We have the north bus route, and we have the south bus. Okay? All the kids that we like are on the north bus route, and all the kids that we don't like are on the south bus route. Okay? But they all have to get to school. The school in this graphic symbolizes the CPU. CPU, okay? So everything has to get to the CPU. And the buses all go the same speed. There's only one speed on the highway, it is 55 miles an hour. The bus instantaneously achieves 55 miles an hour as soon as you're on the bus, and it stops immediately when you get to the next stop. But all the information gets back to the CPU faster on the north bus route. How is that possible? Nope. It's a right away. Nope. Let's see why right Because there's only two bus stops. Okay? Information on a bus goes one speed. And that's the speed that syncs up with the memory, by the way. It goes one speed, but the north bus route has priority. It's only got two stops. The only thing riding that north bus is the memory information and the video card. Those are the only two, th only two bus stops. I stop at the memory, I stop at the video card, I go back to the CPU. I stop at the memory, I stop at the video card, I go back to the CPU. Okay? I got my own route. We got the pretty bus. It's painted nicer. Okay? But it goes the same dang speed. The north bus route has all video and memory information on it. That's how it gets back to the north bus route. That's why it heats up more, because the CPU talks to the memory all this thing of time, right? Thousands of times a second it's talking. So the, that's why the north bus route has a heat sink on it, okay? They're going at the same speed, but they're only making two stops. Everything else is on the other side of the train tracks and rides the south bus route, okay? Everything else is on the south bus route. Now there's only one bus. And if I go over to the hard drive, and he fills up the bus with information, I may continue on my bus route. I go, sorry, can't stop now. I'll be back later. Okay? And I drop off my stuff at the CPU, and then I go around. And this time, I'm going to pass him up because he got the last stop. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to stop the CD-ROM. CD-ROM fills me up with information. Sorry, come back later. Okay? So he's got the same speed. But the buses are the same size. The data that can go on the bus is a finite size. And if it's full, it's going to go back, drop it off the CPU, come back around again. Okay. So although they may go at the same speed, if there's more stuff to pick up and it's got to make more trips, it takes longer for information to get from the south bus route to the CPU. Do we understand that? Yeah. This is a very large <coughs> oversimplification of the process. It's not really a bus. Okay. So if you're watching your computer, Where's for the bus? little yellow bus, it's <laughs> not, not going to see it, okay? Awesome now just so you know, there's two sizes of bus. There's a short bus and there's a long bus. Uh. <laughs> okay? Every single computer we have here at National Trail only has short buses. Okay? And what do I mean when I say that? Have you ever heard the 32-bit operating system? Yes. Okay? Windows XP is a 32-bit operating system. In other words, only 32 bits fit in each packet as it goes around the motherboard. Windows 7 is either 32 or 64-bit. Now, theoretically, if I can fit twice as inf much information in the packet, going at the same rate, I would theoretically get information back and forth twice as fast. 
theoretical. Because it all depends on a couple of things. Number one, the hardware has to support 64-bit. Most of ours don't. Some of them do. Most of them don't. And the operating system has to support 64-bit. Windows XP came out as a 32-bit operating system. If you've got Windows XP at home and a new dual-core awesome CPU and an awesome motherboard and you're still running a 32-bit, eh, may not get the best performance that you want. Okay? The other thing is if you're riding the short bus, just so you know, the most memory you can have in your computer is 4 gigabit. If you put 16 gig in your RAM and run Windows XP, yeehaw, there's 12 gig doing nothing. Okay? It doesn't even see it. If you're using 64-bit, it is unlimited. In other words, as much as you can fit on that motherboard, it can use. So there's an advantage to having a 64-bit bus. The 64-bit cost level. Um, any more, everything is pretty much 6 I don't think you're going to find a new one that isn't 64-bit. My one that says it's 32. Okay. But here's the thing. Your new PC may be running 32-bit, but your hardware may be capable of 64. Okay. So when I hit the Windows pause break key, this one is, obviously I'm running um, 32. 32 on this one because I got Windows XP. But this is a 64-bit processor. I could run 64-bit on this if I wanted to. I could, but you just have to install a new operating system. I would have to run, install Windows 7 64-bit because there's a 32-bit, there's a 64-bit. I'm going outside the scope of this conversation, but not all programs work with 64-bit. I have Windows 7 64-bit on my computer at home. And there's a whole bunch of crap software that I have that doesn't work anymore because it only works with 32-bit. We're still in the transition here as software manufacturers write 64-bit software. So anyway, just so you know that that exists too. If, if I'm on the short bus, I can only use 4 gig of RAM on my computer and I get less in my packet. Here's a, another picture of the North and South Bridge. The North bus route, North Bridge, I use those synonymously. Only minute video and memory are on that. Everything else and I, this is not an all-inclusive list. Anything else that's hardware in your computer talks through the South route. Okay, so I've got my bus. Uh, the bus goes at a certain speed that syncs to memory. Okay, those, those all, it, it may say it's an 800 megahertz bus, but if you put 667 in the memory, it's going to slow down. The bus is what controls all information around the motherboard and back to the CPU. That includes all of my onboard ports, all my connectors, any other expansion slots that I've gone on, on there. Okay? There of all these kind of slots, a bunch of them aren't in use anymore. We don't ISI, ISA, ISA, and eh, not gonna use those anymore. Okay? AGP not even gonna use it anymore. Of the kind of slots, we really have three that you're gonna see. Okay? You're going to see PCI, PCI1, PCI-X, and PCIe. Okay, first of all, they all start with PCI. Okay, so what does PCI stand for? This is a test question. Peripheral. What's peripheral mean? Uh, peripheral. What? To the side, outside, extra. Okay? It means to the side, it's in your peripheral vision, it's on the outside of your normal range. So, extra, think of it as an extra component. What is component? What? Extra. What is a component? Like, uh, video uh, Synonym, no. stuff. Components or stuff we're going to add. Interconnect. Plug. Okay? It's a peripheral component interconnect or it's an extra stuff plug. Okay? Okay. So PCI is the newest way to connect things. Peripheral component interconnect or extra stuff plug. 
Okay? ESP. That's not an acronym. I just made that up. Okay? So, peripheral component interconnect. There's different kinds of PCI slots. This white one right here, this white one right here, is a PCI slot. Okay? PCI slots are 32 bit slots. So, if that's my normal one, and I'm running this 64 bit stuff, okay? I might want some connectors that do 64-bit stuff. So I got the PCI-1, which is this little tiny one. Okay, that little tiny one is PCI-1. Right there. You see the little tiny one? That one's hard to pick out sometimes because sometimes it's black on the motherboard and it doesn't pop out very well. PCIs, I've never seen them anything with the screen color. So I got my PCI. I got my PCI-1. Okay. PCI-X are... In our, our PCI slots, they look exactly the same, but they do 64 bits. So how do I tell the difference when I look at them? I really can't. Okay, and the enhanced are the ones for those cool video cards. Okay, so I've got this one right here, or this one right here. These both only take two extra video card or one extra video card on them. Okay, a really good video card. Uh, or a gamer or motherboard would have at least two. You'll see some with four on them. Okay, so those are the normal slots. There are other ones. I'm not going to show you this, but they all have different connector bottoms on them. Okay, so you have to make sure when you go to plug it in that you're lighting it up and they fit because they have little notches in them and stuff. So I need to make sure that I'm putting in the right one before I put a lot of force down and shove it in there to make sure. Okay. And obviously you can't put a PCI-1 item in a PCI slot. Okay. These things are part of the form factor and they don't go together. Uh, we don't really have ISA. Those stand for ind Industry Standard Architecture. They don't have those anymore. Uh, and AGP slots, that's an AMR. They don't use those anymore either. This is an AGP slot, which stood for it, or stands for Advanced Graphics Port, but it's not really advanced anymore. The PCIe has taken over. So most, no current computers use AGP, but you could have one at home that has AGP. You can still get a decent gamer card for an AGP card slot. Okay. So first of all, let's uh, question: What kind of CPU goes in this motherboard? AGD. Uh, the choices are AMD, AMD and B AMD, and uh, Intel. AMD, okay, AMD. By the way, it says AM2 socket. Say so. This is AMD because it doesn't have a little hooky thing. It's a regular PGA slot. I've got my integrated stuff, my AMD socket. I've got four, in this case, DDR2 memory slots on here. I've got two PCI enhanced video card slots here. I've got a, P, a PCI1 Express slot there. I've got couple normal PCI slots there. When you guys are looking at your motherboards, you need to read the, the description and also look at the picture. Don't assume when you go to buy stuff, unless it's at the manufacturer's site, that the description is necessarily right. I've had students go to Tiger Direct and say it's got four video card slots and then they show me this picture. And I'm like, no it doesn't. Well, it's not my fault it's wrong. Yeah, but you saw the picture. Look at the picture too, okay? So make sure you're looking at your own graphics. When you guys do your PowerPoint, I expect a lot of graphics. I expect this good a quality, you don't have to have labels, this good a quality of picture on your PowerPoint. I do not expect, when you guys give me a PowerPoint of a motherboard, Oh, I need to go to images while I was there, not to go to Biostar. I will have students go and just copy this right here, this thumbnail, and then stick it in a PowerPoint. And stretch it out and think that's okay. Don't use the thumbnails of pictures when you're there. If you click on this one and then say go to full size image, copy that one. Look how much nicer that one looks. It's extremely clear. Don't copy the thumbnails. Go to the full size image and copy this image. And I'll tell you, that's not the worst one I've seen, but 
let's look at the di two difference differences as we paste these on, on our thing. And now I obviously have to shrink it down so it fits. Okay, the difference between that picture and that picture. Okay, when you're showing me that, eh, eh, eh. we can't tell a lot from that. It's too fuzzy. All I have to do is fall to it now. It's like, ooh, I can see everything on this one. Okay, now let's ask you a stupid question. What kind of processor does this one take? AMD. Okay, now obviously they put a little sticker on where the slot goes. Okay, so how many PCI slots do I have? Two. I have two right there. Like I said, they're almost always cream. How many PCI 1 slots do I have? Okay, I got three of those suckers, and those also can be listed as PCI X slots. How many PCI enhanced slots do I have one. for the video card? I got one down here. How many memory slots do I have? I got four. I got one, two, three, four memory slots down there. And this is a good example of I've got heat sinks on both of them. There's my north bridge. There's my south bridge, and it even has a heat sink to go around back here to d help dissipate the heat out around the motor. All right. You can fit. North and south, and this is just to speak. I know that you said that the south is I, I said normally they don't. They can on a newer motherboard, okay? If there's two heat sinks, the bigger one's always on the north. What did you just ask me, Mr. Hunter? You can fit regular video cards into PCI, right? To find regular, you can fit a PCI video card into a PCI slot. In other words, a crappy video card. Okay. And when I say the things are on the north bridge, let me be clear on this. The things on the north bridge are the memory slots and the PCI enhanced slot. If you put a video card over here, it's on the south bridge. The north bridge only talks with these slots that are made for video. But every Do they make a video card that fits in the PCI? Yes. Are they really crappy? Yes. Every computer only has one enhanced. No. They can have more. But yes, they can have way more. Okay, when we go to look at the gamer ones, um, let's let's just go back to our images, and I'm sure we can see a couple that have where there. That one has two. Um, that one has two. And they're normally here. Let's expand this one. They're normally that's it. Oh, there we go. They're normally not right next to each other, and they normally have latches on the back. Why? Because they're big, huge cards if they're a good video card. So they have to have something to lock it on there. And the reason they're not right next to each other is because they're usually wider than normal. And there isn't room for them. So, yeah. Yes, can I finish my lecture, please? Yes. Oh, she just hung up on you. <laughs> She's getting PO. <laughs> <coughs> so, yes, they, and, and they can have up to four of the card slots. Okay, that's kind of overkill. Okay, but you, you can have way more than one. Okay, so here on this one, that would be our north slot, north bus, north bridge, south. It's got a little tiny heat sink. I got four video card, I mean, four um, RAM slots on that one. Okay, now the other thing, well, we'll wait and talk about that tomorrow. I'm, I should probably send Chase downstairs and we'll make sure we got to. Everything that I want to talk about today. Ah, oh, there's the bus in the bottom. If you followed all the wires, you know, if, if you had got a day and a half with nothing to do and you wanted to trace wires around, they all end up back at the CPU. They go, here's the north bridge. They're going through the north bridge and then back around to the CPU. But those are the bus lines on the bottom. Couple other video. These are still um, ATX because they have the integrated CPU and memory with the extra slots on the side. Did I just go backwards? Okay, so the motherboard selection determines the kind of CPU, the chipset, expansion slots, the time, type of memory. I think this slide, this slide I already showed you. And then next class, we're going to talk about the motherboard project. I'm going to stop right now so you can go down to the office and you can finish with my get your, yeah, I know. It,